Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Audacity tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily increase or decrease the volume of an audio file in Audacity. So Audacity is a great free and open source software that allows you to edit and record audio. If you don't already have it installed, check the link in the description because I'll put a direct link to where you can download it and get it installed in your computer. And then you can follow along in this tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just load up an audio file and then we can start increasing and decreasing the volume on that. So I'm going to go up to file and then open and then I'm going to open a little audio recording of me playing the guitar. All right, so when you first get into Audacity, you might try to increase the volume with the playback volume right here. All this is going to do is increase the volume on your computer. It's not going to actually increase the volume of the audio file. So there's actually two ways to do that. First, we can simply use the gain on the audio right here. So you could either increase this by how many dBs you want or decrease it. And I'll show you what that looks like in real time. So I'll go ahead and play the audio and then I can turn it up and then turn it down as well. Now you can use this method, but it's not gonna increase the size of the waveform here. So if you're using that to edit and cut your audio, then it's not gonna be very useful for you. The second way to increase or decrease the volume on your audio is to use amplification. So we do that by first selecting a portion of the audio or all of the audio right here. So you wanna make sure you have the selection tool selected up here and your keyboard shortcut for that is F1. And then you could just click the wave and then drag it to select a portion. Or if you wanna select the entire audio file, all you need to do is go up to select in the menu and then go to all and then it's gonna select the entire clip. From here, what we need to do is select effect in the menu and then go down to amplify. So amplify is a little bit more complicated than the gain adjustment over here. The top portion up here is how much we're amplifying it in dBs, which is very similar to gain right here. But the new peak amplification, what that is measuring is how much we can amplify the audio before the wave goes outside of this little area right here. So basically it'll be too big for you to see it. So by default, when you go into amplify, it's going to make the amplification number as large as it can be before it starts hitting that limit. And really all that's doing is trying to prevent you from adding too much amplification and that'll distort and lower the quality of the audio. So if you go up to this max here, you should be fine, you should not have any distortion. Anything beyond that will cause distortion. And as you can see, if I try to go beyond that, it's gonna not let me select okay. So it won't let me do that. But if for some reason I need to go beyond that, all I need to do is select allow clipping and then it will allow me to go as high as I wanna go and I can still select okay. So I'm just gonna put it up to four right here. And what you're gonna see is the waveform here change. If we wanna to listen to an example of the amplification that we've selected without it selecting okay and applying it to our audio clip, we can select preview. And then it will play an example of it. So you can kind of see, is that too loud? Is it loud enough? And edit the amplification accordingly. But I'm gonna select okay and you can see the waveform change. So as you can see, it got bigger. And right here, as you can see, the waveform is actually going beyond the limit right there. So there's probably gonna be some distortion if I play it. So I'll go ahead and play that. So you hear that distortion in the audio. It's definitely not sounding as good as it would if that amplification was a little bit lower. Now, if you find that you have some distortion after you amplify the audio and you wanna lower it again, the way to do that is to select undo. Do not try to lower the gain or to lower the amplification on audio you've already amplified because you'll lose some of the detail in that audio and it won't sound as good. So what I'm gonna do, because this is too high, I'm just gonna select undo. It'll go back to the way it was before and we can go back into effect and change the amplification again to whatever we want. And in this example, I'm gonna lower the amplification so that it actually is gonna lower the volume of the audio. So I'll select okay. The waveform got lower. And then if we play back that section that had the distortion before, it does not have the distortion that was added because we over amplified the recording before. All right, so that's how you increase or decrease the volume of audio files using Audacity. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Audacity tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.